Good morning. If you're joining us for the very first time today. Now this is Shangilia Jumapili. My name is Rasoa Idagiza. And my name is Aronia Titus. Mm-hmm. And uh, you're listening to Bez Radio, your number one online audiovisual radio station in Kenya. Now, when I say the audiovisual, we have two parts. We have the audio part where you can listen to me right now live via our website, which is www.bezradio.co.ke. Or you can alternatively get to our Google download our app yes uh, uh, to google play store you shall find uh, base radio and also please remember to uh, rate us a five star <laughs> <laughs> exactly uh, just like the uh, the evangelist has said do not forget to ra- either rate us and also do not forget to follow us because we go through across all social media platforms we go by the name of Bez Radio so get to our Facebook uh, our Facebook page followers get to our YouTube channel where you can get all our programs anytime anywhere anytime anywhere you can get or you can get all our programs so get there subscribe to our channel and our followers and on this beautiful morning it is right now it is 38 minutes past seven in the a.m and it is that time to have the discussion of the day and as i promised you earlier that i'm going to have our evangelist titus here and titus amefika uh-huh he's here kulikuwa natashushi kidoga was worried that he's not going to make it but finally through the grace of the lord he has made it here and this is the time where we get into the discussion and today we are discussing uh, how people you need to f- you know just focus mm. their focus on their personal relationship with god mm. you know titus uh, yes most of the time yeah. especially in the current world right now mm. people like to focus so much on religion yes, yes. extremely so much on the re- on the religion part uh, mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. christianity and forget about their own spiritual relationship with the lord yeah. so that is what we are putting on the table this Beautiful morning. I mm. hope you've had a fantastic week. Leo mvoe menyesha. Yeah. Kulinyesha kwenye? Yeah, kuna kwa na drizzle kidogo. Some drizzles. Na jana na juzi. It's been raining. It's been raining heavily. It's been raining heavily. Uh-huh. You know where I come from? It r- it barely rains. Oh. Well, I, naishi uko kajiado. Yeah. It barely rains. But mm. for the last three days, manzi, it has rained. And that makes me believe yes. that this month of November, is going to be a month of nothing but blessings. blessings. So I am uh, hoping and praying wherever you're listening and watching us from this beautiful morning yeah. that you are go- you are blessed. Eh? Mm-hmm. Titus, tell this tell these people how you're blessed this morning. Uh, it's a blessing to actually even wake up every day, every morning, mm-hmm. and that is why we ought to be giving thanks every time we wake up. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, looking at the blessings that the Lord has done through the rain. We should also be ready for the ra- for the blessings, mm-hmm. for the rainy blessings, uh-huh. because sometimes the rainy blessings also destroy a house, mm. and sometimes it makes the house stronger. When it destroys the house, it makes the house stronger. I'm saying, uh-huh. sometimes blessings d- uh, can destroy oh, a man, okay. and 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 it can also uh, uh, actually bring a man up. Oh, now yeah. I get that point. And this m- beautiful morning, I am very happy. Any, I am excited for today. Mm. And getting down to, you know, like as well, like when I was coming to work today, yeah. I boarded a matatu. Uh-huh. Uh, the Lord has not blessed me yet with my own personal car. But blessed. I believe in a few months' time. Yes. Yes. I like I that faith. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I believe that in a few months' time. Uh-huh. Anyway, today when I, when I was putting the matatu to this place, yes. there were some uh, three people seated behind me. Mm-hmm. And they were discussing a man of God. And uh, I, do, I, I, I can't get into the details because uh, the way they were discussing that man of God was not so appealing. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I got one thing. This, uh, the, the current community right now, the current Christian community, the current Christian, we, we are a small village of the Lord. So the current v- small village of the Lord of today, we are so much focused on what we should and we should not do. Mm. 
you know as a, as as per the religious rules that have been laid us laid out for us yeah. and we tend to forget about our personal relationship with the lord mm -hmm. which is the, which i believe this is the most important part yes, yes. in christianity this is the most important part you as a christian in your cl christian life because mm -hmm. when you go to god god will not ask you pastor when you alikwambia ufanye you know pastor can say any rules zake zilikuwa gani god will ask you what were you doing for me? Mm -hmm. How was I relating with you? You know, how are you relating with me? What was your relationship mm -hmm. with me? Yes. Which makes me wonder, Mbona, why are we so much focused on how people react to, on how people behave in, uh, in the religious world mm -hmm. and uh, completely, completely push aside yes. what, the road li what the road really wants in us? Mm -hmm. I, I think it's uh, because uh, most people live by the flesh. Uh -huh. If you read uh, John 8, 15, mm -hmm. you shall hear Jesus say that uh, you judge after the flesh, but I judge no man. Even God himself. Who's supposed to judge? Who has all the power to judge? Yes. Yeah, he judge said, I order. judge no man. And you see, mm -hmm. if, uh, if we are still uh, bound by the law, mm -hmm. then that means that Christ did nothing for us. Mm -hmm. Now we have no part in grace. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, if you actually can do the law, if you want to live by the law, yeah. then make sure you break none of them. And you remember there are 615 laws. There are what? 615. <laughs> In the Bible. Only 10 that were highlighted. But we have 615. Okay. That's in Leviticus 21, Exodus 20. You read and you'll find that there are more laws that tell you how to dress, that tell you what to eat. What but Jesus came mean? and said the law didn't work. Mm -hmm. Now he brought grace. Mm -hmm. Now if you think that you can keep the 10, what about the other uh, the 600. 600? So 651. Yes. If you can keep the 10, how about the 641 one? Yes. <laughs> I did not know there are 600. Do you know there is a law yeah. that bounds priests mm -hmm. and uh, men of God, the, Levi the, the Levites, mm -hmm. not to shave their beard? There is okay. a law. Okay. Yes. I did not know that. And how many pastors do you know that shave their, their beard? A lot of them. Yes. Many of Including them. Including me. <laughs> 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 now so Jesus, like, uh -huh. Jesus came uh, to bring grace mm -hmm. because faith is not found by works. Mm -hmm. Now, if any man trusts in their own works, they will not find the faith that Christ actually brought, yeah. the grace that actually Jesus brought. Mm -hmm. And any man who lived by grace, even in the Old Testament, you shall find they had more freedom to do what they liked, and God still blessed them. Because they lived in grace. Because they lived in grace. When I look at the story of David, yes, you know, uh, the Bible tells me David is the man after Jesus' own heart, yes. after God's own heart. Yes. But David went ahead, mm -hmm. plotted a whole murder. Yes. Now, it's, it's not a murder that he just woke up and did it in five seconds. Mm -hmm. At first, actually, he committed several sins before murdering. A lot of sins. First, he... Um, he coveted somebody else's wife. Yes. Then he lusted after that somebody else's wife. Mm -hmm. After that now, then the enemy now comes and tells him, but you can kill your friend, then have his wife. Yes. And he goes ahead, does that, kills his friends, gets mm. the wife. I think they, they had a baby together, but that baby later dies. Yes. And uh, But still God, in his merciful and his... They had another baby. They had another baby still. And that son became Solomon. He became uh, the wisest person. Yes. Actually, the baby that came from this relationship, but in the eyes of... Mom, from an adulterer. From an, an adulterer, exactly. Yes. This relationship that uh, most of the... If we as a Christians, we were to look at it with uh, our normal naked eye. Yes. We'll be like, um, toto, hafai. Because there's, there's, there's no more. There's, these are norms and uh, traditions that govern a lot of, uh, you know, babies born out of wedlock and all that. Mm. If you were to look at it with the same uh, eye, mm -hmm. Solomon was supposed to be killed, right? Yeah. Stoned to the mm -hmm. death. But he goes ahead and becomes the wisest man mm -hmm. on earth. And uh, that tells me that uh, we should really, really just be very careful on what we utter, especially our ma our tongues. Yes. I don't know much about the tongue, but tell us much about the tongue and how powerful it can be. 
the Bible states that the tongue is a small member of the body, mm -hmm. but it can boast of big things. Mm -hmm. The tongue is the same one that can light up a fire, just like a matchbox can light up a forest. Uh -huh. And now if any, uh, when, uh, when, when James is writing about the tongue, he asks, who can tame? Everybody has tamed, uh, uh, okay, man has tamed the lion, they have tamed the cheetah, they have tamed even the elephant. Mm -hmm. And you see how powerful these animals are. Mm -hmm. I visit the zoo uh, like uh, every every month once. Mm -hmm. I love I, lo I just love to watch the the animals, especially the lion. Okay. And every time I go there, uh -huh. I see how powerful the lion is. Even when they are feeding it, you see how powerful it is. You see how fierce it is. But it has been tamed. They roar, but they are in the cage. Okay, uh -huh. You see, yes. man has been able to tame a snake. And every type of snake, they tell you that one is the most poisonous. <laughs> and you're like, uh -huh. hey, how did you guys tame it to mm -hmm. the point that it obeys you? Mm -hmm. And they uh, snakes. Yes. I'm a lover of snakes. And anytime I tell somebody I love snakes, they're like, unapenda <laughs> <laughs> Of all the things. Yes. And it all, it's the power of the tongue, right? The that power of the tongue. Tame them. Yes. Mm -hmm. They are able to tame them. And you see, there is a, even a witch. Let's talk about a witch mm -hmm. who is able to tame a tortoise mm -hmm. and uh, use it for their own ritual. Now, man can be able to tame all this. They can tame even a person, mm -hmm. like the way we were colonized. <laughs> oh, that, uh, anyway, yes. that was taming. Yeah. Yes. Now, you, s you see a soldier come and say, by the power bestowed upon us from the queen, the queen the we queen. have set foot on this land and we declare this is a British oh, colony. colony. Yeah, that's how soldiers used to announce. And you were like, mm, uh, what Who is this the thing? queen? Wh Where are you coming from? Hey, what he, why is he yelling? <laughs> you don't have to shout. <laughs> why are you even yelling? <laughs> yes, and that's how we, people were colonized. Mm -hmm. But uh, that is the power of the tongue. But now, later, uh, he says, this same person who is able to tame all this mm -hmm. is not able to tame their own tongue. Uh -huh. You see? Mm -hmm. And that's the smallest member in your body. body. Now, if we are not able to tame our tongues, that's when we become judgmental. Mm -hmm. When Christ asks us not to be judgmental. Now, you see, if uh, just the same way you said, in human eyes, people who uh, God loved and gave them a lot of blessings, for example, Samson. Mm -hmm. Samson did a lot that was wrong. And yes, exactly. But still, you'll mm -hmm. hear a verse or you read a verse that says, and God's power came upon came him. Came upon and him. he destroyed 300 Philistines. Despite everything that he has done. And the previous verse mm -hmm. or the previous story before he destroys these Philistines mm -hmm. is that he has uh, taken a woman from their land. Mm -hmm. which was against the law. The angel was clear that this you, are, you shall get a son, mm -hmm. and now this son should not marry from any other tribe except of Israel. Israel. Then he still went ahead and looked for, <laughs> what is tribe was this? Anyway. The Philistine. The Philistine, yes, yes. 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 He still went ahead and looked for a Philistine. Yeah. But still God's power. Still, still God's power. Them. Now, even after, Mm -hmm. This is how it, it makes it what uh, makes it worse. Where even after uh, Samson has given out the secret, mm -hmm. you see, he's arrested. They go jealous his eyes, and now he's in the prison. And then later they call him for entertainment. There's a day they were calling him for entertainment, but they did not know that his hair was growing. They were mm -hmm. not they were not paying attention. Mm -hmm. Now. When the Bible says that his hair started growing, it catches my attention that God's gifts are without repentance. And just as you said earlier, you had people talking about a man of God. Yes. I want to maybe uh, uh, illustrate this more by telling you that if God has blessed a man mm -hmm. or has blessed you with the gifts that he has given you, there is no sin. There is no uh, part in this world. Mm -hmm. There is no alcohol. There is no witchcraft. There is nothing that can make you lose your gift. Your gift. Not even the sins that you commit yourself. Yes. Have you met a drunkard man who is preaching? A drunkard man who is preaching? Yes. <laughs> yeah, they do sometimes. They but They preach a lot in because English. Because, uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, in that they sing state. a lot. Uh -huh. Yes. They still got the gift. 
mm-hmm. only that it might not be as uh, effective as it was y- as it was mm-hmm. but they still do it they still got it so God if you they stop the habit of drink they'll still preach mm-hmm. yes okay now god's gift are without repentance mm-hmm. and now if you see a man a man will say hata huyu anaweza kuwa pastor huyu hata ndio anajiita mkristo huyu mwenye tulimwona juzi akilala kwa mitaro wa yeah. club yes huyu mm-hmm. huyu dem anavaa hivi anajiita mkristo you see you will say that but god sees a son god sees a daughter, a daughter. Yeah. And now you as as that person who keeps on judging. Yes. Now you're the one at the fault with God. We also don't yes. have a mungu. He is clear. He said, mm-hmm. judge not and then you, you shall not be judged. You shall not be then judged. that means if you judge, you get judged. Mm-hmm. Now, if God judges you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he Six says uh-huh. uh, in uh, John 18:16, mm-hmm. he says when I judge, I judge with the truth. Uh-huh. And you cannot hide the truth from God. Yes. And you know uh, uh, He is truth. Uh-huh. Now, if God judges you by the truth, who will survive? <laughs> Tell me. Yeah. Who will stand? I think nobody. Nobody. Because all of us, yeah. just like Jesus said, we have all fallen short of the glory of the Lord. Mm, so we if have he's failed. If he's to come and lay out his judgment plan, yeah. standing on the truth, Yes. Is he what he, tunalala chini. In fact, he says in a verse mm-hmm. that if any man says he has no sin, he lies. He lies. That is, that is uh, so th- <laughs> the only man who did not have sin is the son of God yeah. who came and walked in flesh. Yes. But uh, he, he was a special son of God. I mean, he was a special kind of a human being because he was the son of God mm. to begin with. So he's yes. the only one who did not have sin. Yes. And us who are sinners, we tend to, you know, jump, overlook mm. our own sins. Yeah. And I ju- just go ahead and judging, especially the men of God. Mm. You know, I was reading uh, the, the Bible. Yeah. And I came across this verse that says, touch not my anointed ones. Mm. And he knew, in mm. that verse, he, an, he, he hasn't specified yeah. my anointed, you can touch my anointed ones who have later fallen back and mm. fallen short of the mm. glory. Or you can go ahead and now start maiming or throwing stone at my anointed ones yes. who later backslided. He just says, touch not my anointed ones. Mm. If he has the anointing of the Lord, be very careful, careful enough, be very careful not to touch it. Because Trust me, you do not want to be in a fight of God. Yes. How ugly can a fight, be t- a fight between God and a human being be? Uh, that is the same as asking, mm-hmm. if God becomes your enemy, uh-huh, how bad? How will you live? You know, you have to walk around with mattresses around your body, so that uh, if you get in an accident, you don't die. <laughs> you have to carry your own uh, oxygen tank. Mm-hmm. Yes. If God is going to become your enemy. And where will you get that os- oxygen? You, because he's still the one who provides that. Yes, it's very hard to live in this world when mm-hmm. God is your enemy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Most of the time where, when God was someone's enemy, yeah. they did not survive long. Mm-hmm. They did not even live, actually. Let me say that. Mm-hmm. Now, if God chooses, if you choose a battle with God, you've chosen death. And now, not just death, but mm-hmm. death twice. You die in the what flesh. Do you, what, what do you mean when you say you you have a... Just make it clear. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who's being a, a little confused here. Yes. What do you mean when you say you've chosen death twice? You've chosen death twice because we live in two realms. Mm-hmm. We have the physical and we have the spiritual. Mm-hmm. Now, the same way a man has a body, mm-hmm. that's the same way they have a soul. Okay. And now, the same way uh, the body has a world to live in, mm-hmm. that is the same way a soul has a place to live in. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, that's why we, we teach about there is life after death. Now, that life after death mm-hmm. is a blessing from God. Now, you don't have to get that if you are an enemy to him. Now, if he kills you, mm-hmm. he said, Fe- do not fear a man who can kill you. Kill you by the flesh only. Mm-hmm. But fear a man who can, can kill, kill your that. flesh mm-hmm. and your spirit too. Okay, and that man, th- there's only one person who can kill my, my flesh and spirit. Yes. And that is the enemy, the devil himself. The, the enemy can't kill your spirit. It's okay. only Christ who can kill your spirit. The enemy has Wait no access. He had access, but now he doesn't have access. Anymore. Yes. Oh, when Jesus went down uh, down the gates of hell. He took the keys off. 
life and death. The enemy is just a distractor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he can only kill your flesh. But there's somewhere that says uh, mm. uh, the enemy comes to kill, destroy, and the do what? There is he does three things. Yes. He comes to kill, to destroy, to, to steal, or to steal, to destroy, to kill, or and to kill. Steal, destroy, then kill. Yes. I thought, you know, when I when I was reading that verse, yes. because it's a common verse. I'm pretty sure almost everyone has known it. It's a very common verse. Mm. According to my understanding, yes. make, it, make make me now understand it because I I knew that now the enemy comes when it comes to he steals he destroys and he kills mm. he he even kills my soul mm. that is what i understood and you are telling me the devil cannot have access to my soul that is beautiful yeah the devil does not have access to the human soul because mm -hmm. uh, number 1 god created the spirit yeah and now the spirit belongs to him now, depending whether you do this or do that or don't do this or don't do that, mm -hmm. now, the one that will come in front of God's judgment is the soul, the spirit. Okay. Now, at what point does Jesus decide to kill your spirit now? You've become his enemy. He says in uh, yes. Matthew 12 yes. that uh, every sin that a man committed, he committed, uh, uh, he can be forgiven. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, blasphemy but against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. And now, when he says will not be forgiven, he means about death. Mm -hmm. He means you'll be judged. The only judgment in the Old Testament and everywhere is just death. death. Now, uh, Jesus says about uh, life that he brought. Now, if you become a man who does not have that life, then you are, uh, you are as good as dead. Okay. Yes. So we shouldn't be and you know blasphemy doesn't people people most of the time people will think blasphemy ni lile useme mungu ni i don't want to talk about it mm. because maybe i'll be blaspheming and, and sub, subconsciously mm. but anyway blasphemy is very easy to commit right mm. because all you need to say is we are not to mungu you know when you see somebody and you, you really don't know what uh, what powers are vested into him yes and you you just here quick to judge. Oh, you 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 are to me. You are not to me. Ah, vitu zingine. Oh, you is not using God's powers. He's using something else. Devil, and maybe he's a demon. He's uh -huh. an Illuminati. Uh, exactly. Most yeah. of the time they say he's Illuminati. Even the people you sing, he's healing. Mm. They're not healing. Even mm. yes, atukatai. Cause uh, I know there are several. Maybe, maybe I'm not sure. I haven't encountered any of them. But yes. I've had stories. I have read some news. The people do exist mm. who hide in the name of religion, who hide in Christianity. Because recently, you know, the easiest way to con a person, mm. they, uh, most of the time they say, especially they say women, yes. the easiest way to con a woman is to use religion. Mm. So uh, there have been men and women of, should I call them men and women of God? Anyway, there have been men and women who hide behind the mask of God and Christianity yes. to do some some unscrupulous thing, mm. you know. Mm. They, they will pay people to say they're healed. They'll pay, but that does not guarantee. I don't think if that now guarantees or gives us now a go ahead mm. to go around calling people who anyone who's preaching the word of God, you know, who you see, who you, who you see, who you, mm. because at the end of the day, right? Yeah. When he says mm -hmm. about that, he says there are many who will come in my name mm -hmm. and they will perform miracles. Now we have not even seen the, the, the fierce one when he says they will even call fire. And from fire heaven. will come down. Yeah, from heaven. Now when he says that, he mm -hmm. says do not believe them. Mm -hmm. When he says do not believe them, he also says you shall know them by their fruits. How do what? you judge a tree? You judge it by the by fruit. its fruits. Yes, how do, we, how do we know this is an orange tree? Because it produces oranges. Okay. Now... Uh, that brings me later. Yes. Now, how do I see the fruit of a man of God? Mm. How do I look out for that fruit? This is how you see a fruit of a man of God yes. or of any church. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go to a church um, and you want to know if this is the correct place mm -hmm. for you, you just see about the man, uh, the, 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 the least man in the room. Okay. Yes. How are they living? Are they blessed as the pastor is? Uh -huh. Are they in the journey of being blessed? Mm -hmm. Or are they getting worse? 
Okay, so that now the have, fruit uh -huh. is coming in when uh, when everybody in the room is moving the same direction. Okay. Yes, let me judge. Hey, that's a good fruit, and you know the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, there is wisdom. There is, hey, yes, there is I know. Joy. There is love. There is love. Yes. There is joy. Now you see patience. Mm -hmm. You see kindness. Mm -hmm. You see self uh, control. Now all these will come upon. Every, every person you meet, they will not be offended. Mm -hmm. Yes, they will not be offended as just as if it is uh, hard for them to be offended. Mm -hmm. They are dead to the flesh. Mm -hmm. You see a lot. There is a lot that you can see. And now again, uh, yes. because Kuna uh, Huyu, there's this man of God mm. that named True. Yes. And the spirit of the Lord is operating in, the, uh, in him uh, and within, in and within him. Yes. And this, this other man of God in quote, mm. who is performing miracles, who is calling fire from heaven and the fire is coming down. Yes. Now me as a person with the naked eye, mm. how do I get to discern these two people? By the fruit. And um, okay, le let me help uh, understand better. Uh -huh. Now, um, if there is a man of God performing miracles. Yes. That does not mean it comes from God. Okay. So if you are being called by miracles, then you are in the wrong calling. Mm -hmm. Miracles are supposed to follow them that believe. You see? Mm -hmm. And the same way, do you know every miracle Moses did, the, the magicians did also? Oh, yes, yes, they did. They yeah, only could not perform the last one. The, the one which Moses' snakes went ahead and swallowed. The other ones. Mm, they did that too. But Moses' snake went and ate theirs. Okay. God was being the winner in the battle. Okay. But the way a stick changed into a snake, oh, the sticks did that. also changed into a snake. Yes. But now the last one, when the first bones were killed, mm -hmm. and specifically the first bones of every living thing there, mm -hmm. is that that one is the one that they could not duplicate. Mm -hmm. But they duplicated every other miracle. They said, uh, every, uh, even this plague we can also do. My magicians can also do. do. Now, that cannot. Now, if a man was came in the room late and found that the magician had changed water into blood, then that means he could have said, Hey, now this is Niam Jona Jonte. Yeah. He turned water yesterday into Make blood. Make a wine. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. I take a, hey, I take a wine. Oh, ah. Uh. I'm confusing the two, water into blood and water into wine. Yes. Uh -huh. It's all the same. Now, if you are able to do that, mm -hmm. th that does not mean that you are from God. Mm -hmm. People who are from God, they teach the word of God. Mm -hmm. They glorify God the whole time. Not the miracle. Yes. Uh -huh. In fact, if they wrote a poster, mm -hmm. they will write it like this, word exposition. Mm -hmm. They will not say miracles, 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 miracles. Uh -huh. come for your miracles. <laughs> but that is what, what that is exactly what we see for billboards. Kila mahali ukienda. Yes. Most of our billboards are out I'm out there. Have you seen a billboard that says Word of God crusade? Mm. It's always a crusade of miracles. Mm. Come and get your miracles. Mm. Maybe I thought maybe how many churches today mm -hmm. that are on TV yeah. are teaching the word more than they are performing miracles? Very few. Yeah. Yes, very few men of God are teaching God's word mm -hmm. before they promise people things, before they promise people miracles, mm -hmm. goodies. But then if I am to sit down and look, most mm. of them, yes, they will be like, Kuja utu takuambea upone. Others have go others go to the extent of Fanda Begu, you know. Mm. Others some others are even abusive in those TV stations. Anyway, our television. Do you know why they their churches are full? Mm -hmm. If they are very full, in, in fact, they even out, uh, overflow because... That is usually my question. Yes. How come these people still have followers? What is the reason behind it? They know what you came for. You came for miracles. Now you'll not yes. cease having trouble. Mm -hmm. When they solve this, this comes along. When you solve this, this comes along. Mm -hmm. When you solve this, this comes along. Now you are always dependent on the man of God. Mm, okay. Yes. And we should be. So you come, you say, my hand has to be healed. Then you go, your hand is healed. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow, your leg has an issue. Then you go back, 
Then after eventually you become a staunch dis disciple of the church. Then you start calling other people to come and see too. Now they go and tell other people who are sick, who have problems to come there. But not, they are not coming for the word of God. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are many of them who are just talking. Now, when you listen, I, take, I took my time some time back when I was researching and I, say, uh, and I said, let me see what these people are actually doing. And uh, the first people I saw, mm -hmm. nobody was talking about the word of God. Nobody was even preaching. The people I saw were not yeah. even preaching. One of them was just preaching miracles. One of them was asking for money. Mm -hmm. One of them was asking for, 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 for fame. He was even telling others, they are not asking for people to listen to the word of God. Mm -hmm. And you see, if we are able to rightly divide of the word of God, yes. that is when we'll be able to be uh, disciples of God. That is the church of Christ. Mm -hmm. Yes. In fact, it says uh, in First Timothy 3.16 that study to show thyself approved. Workman that needeth not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay. Yes. Did you see that? Yes. Yeah. Study to show thyself approved. Mm -hmm. Workman that needeth not to be ashamed, mm -hmm. rightly dividing the word of truth. Mm -hmm. Yes. I did not know that. Do you know many people do not have Bibles? They depend on the Bible of the pastor. Yes. Actually, yes. most of them most of them usually say, yeah. si pastor at a soma tu. Yeah. Mbona ni bebe, si pastor at a soma. And that tells me one thing also, that these people entirely, yes. they when they are, home, they are at home, they mm. don't even read their own Bibles. They don't care. They Oh, they don't care. They don't care. Oh, I have the man of God who will read for me. Oh, why should I? That has to be just on Sunday. Yeah. nikafunge mm. story. But I think we should always, I uh, you know, we should always have this um two and a beer. Yeah, always going back to the Bible and uh, sp just reading about the word of God. Do you, do you know that uh, the miracles did Jesus did? Mm -hmm. Uh was so many. Mm -hmm. But the word that was written they wrote the word more than they wrote the miracles. The oh. word that he spoke. So the miracles that we read of today are not they're just the entire, few of what they're just a very small fr fraction uh, of what really yes. happened. Yes. Ah. Jesus did a lot of things. Mm. A lot, a lot, a lot. Not to mention mm -hmm. even the one that has been mentioned in uh, John 2. Mm -hmm. When he goes to a wedding, mm -hmm. th so that means he was he could do a miracle anywhere. Yeah. yeah. You invite Jesus in your party, he mm -hmm. has to do a miracle there. There's no there, there are many parties he did a miracle. Yeah. Every party he went, in fact, he did a miracle there. Oh. Yeah. You remember oh. when he went to Zacchaeus, uh, Zacchaeus house? Uh -huh. Yes, he did a miracle there. The miracle was uh -huh. that uh, Zacchaeus said, now I'll follow you. I stole people's money. I'll return and it. I'm going to return it in yes. four folds. Mm. Do you know how hard that is? Very hard. Ata ile pesa nyo muomba tu legally. Kana ukambia mtu aki naomba unisaidia elfu mbili. After one week nitarudi. Iyo kurudisha inakuwa. Kurudisha inakuuma. And he returned it into four oh, times. Four times. Yeah. He said, now that I have had you. Mm -hmm. Not that I have seen your miracles. Mm -hmm. Now that I have had you. Mm -hmm. He had God's word, and God's word came into his soul like a piercing sword, mm -hmm. like fire. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we should always focus on uh, what they the do. word of God, not what the they do. The word. Natuache mdomo mingi. We honor. Uh -huh. uh, do you know there are many people who are healed? Mm -hmm. Or miracles have been done on them, mm -hmm. and they can't see heaven. Oh, okay. Yes. That is not a guarantee. Just because you were, you were healed or a, a powerful miracle happened, it's mm. not a guarantee. Yes. Uh -huh. What matters is obedience to God's word. Mm -hmm. That is what matters. That is amazing. Yeah. Now, if we are not if we are not people who are driven by God's word and we are driven by miracles, mm -hmm. then we shall easily lose the the the, 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 the compass, mm -hmm. the direction. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
and that song here yeah, uh-huh, that still brings me back to my mouth mm. because i think most even sometimes i was also a victim of that i would always look um, when i want to live my life as a christian yes i would always look up to uh, the pastor who's pastoring me the the ashes there the choir there nikume mm. ah kama mtu wa choir anafanya hivi mbona si mimi yes. mbona nisifanye hivi mm. unajua if pastor kama wewe ni pasi and sometimes uh, yes. which l- i am glad that god came later to correct me i have left churches because mm. what the man of god did mm. and um, now i'm learning yes. it is not about what they do it is about what they say what they said i should focus on what they say mm. he said jesus said mm-hmm. It's, I think it's in Matthew 21 or 23. Mm-hmm. He says that uh, these people yeah. will tell you a lot of things to do, mm-hmm. but themselves will not do. Now, hear what they say and don't do what, what they, they do. do. Christ said that. So even Christ knew. Mm. Do, you know, do you realize that we are all the same in God's eyes? Okay. Yes, if we are all the same, that means that if I am a man of God, you mm-hmm. are equally a woman of God. Of God. Uh-huh. Yes. Whether or not I'm preaching the word of God. W- what you require of me mm. is also required of you. Oh, I used to think. Mm. <laughs> I used to think that the, the people who are preaching the word of God, yes. they have uh, a, a higher expe- yes, a special expectation from the Lord Jesus. Ni wewe bwana, when you when do Mungu anakuongelesha, he doesn't uh, talk to me. Uh, so he he expected those ones, he expected them higher things of them. Do you know whom it's expected more? It's expected more to whom much is given. Mm-hmm. Much is required. That is whom it's expected more. Mm-hmm. But uh, the judgment of a teacher will be different mm-hmm. because they knew the truth. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm. Ah, that is... Hey, I hope you're listening in there. Today, let me wisdom to after wisdom. I told you today, we, the man of God, he is going to drop some really great wisdom. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I'm also... Eh, I wasn't I wasn't ready to learn like me pia mimi najifunza which is one amazing beautiful thing. And uh, I also had another question. Uh, yes. And now uh, it's still on this uh but I think you've answered me. Mm. Somewhere where you told me the gifts of God are not of what? Are not, are of, not of repentance. Oh, are without repentance. Are without repentance. Mm. Because I think that is where most of us fail. Mm. Well, we, we say um La squeeze alianguka aivi kuombea na upone mm-hmm. you know squeeze aliacha kufanya easy squeeze he's not as strict as he used to be sasa hakuna kitu atakufanyia na ikusaidie you've all heard from uh, the man of god that the gifts of god are mm-hmm. not with uh, repentance that the gift are uh, akish, mungu akisha ku bless ni hivyo you know it wouldn't matter what you've done it wouldn't matter what you now doing akisha ku yeye yeah, akisha sema jina yake Mambo yake amemalizana na wewe as a human being. Mm. He's done with you. His blessings is there. Sure. So his blessings will not leave. They won't leave. And on that same, yes. since the blessings will not leave, mm. you know now maybe, yes. because uh, let's take this scenario, this man of God, there's this man, uh, uh, we used to sing man of God because I think most preachers are men. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so this man of God eh, yeah. has uh, gone, uh, so this man, sorry, uh, has some little, okay, it's been corrected. Anyway, this man of God was once right in alignment mm. with the word of God, uh, with the blessings of God, to, to a point God gave him the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Uh-huh. And now he's gotten to a place, mm-hmm. he's backsliding. Yes. And he's leading people astray. Yes. With whatever he's saying. Mm. But the gifts are still there. Because si utusha sema mungu wa kisha kubless, amesha kubless. Si yes. Sile wa kukupea. Na like, kunyanganye. Eh, like our, our, our current boyfriends. Hakuna nulia slippers. Kesho ukibreak up. Unamrudishia. But as I said. Here's a hate bomb. Yeah. Anyway. God is not like that. And mm. now this man has gotten to a place. He's fallen. He's clearly fallen. And he's teaching something different. And he's now teaching something different. Mm. And I know there are people who will go. Anaweza, anaweza bariki mtu, anaweza niombea na nipone. Yeah. How, d- how will now these people now start, uh, how will I put this one? How will they now start you know, redirecting their focus? Mm. Because this man is no longer leading them mm. where they're supposed to be going. Yeah. So how do we do that? For the believer, mm-hmm. this is their word. Yes. Follow me as I follow Christ. 
Okay. That is what Paul said. Mm -hmm. Now that means that if I stop following Christ, then you stop following, following me. me. Yes. Okay. We follow a person because they are following Jesus. Mm -hmm. And if they stop following Jesus, mm -hmm. then you stop following them. Immediately. Uh -huh. Ata kama bado miracles ziko hapo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Miracles should not be the baseline of what God sh God is doing, of what God is after, mm -hmm. of what God would do. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Miracles is not the litmus paper. Mm -hmm. The litmus paper is the word. Mm -hmm. Yes. The word of truth. Oh, okay, that is what we should focus. Yes, and for the man of God, mm -hmm. it's just they just have to remember where they fell f they fell off. Mm -hmm. From and now, when you remember where you fell from, you can be able to go back, repent, and get back in the way. Mm -hmm. And repenting is not just praying; repenting is changing your way. Okay. Yes. So if I <laughs> if I to go to God and tell Him, Mungu ni samia kunifanya hiki, and still go ahead and do the same thing. Yes. That is that not repentance. That is not repentance. Yes. I have to completely change my ways. Yes. Okay, that is also a new because most of the time you know we we wakati mungine we nita tubu nita 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 samehewa yeah tunafanyanga mungu mchezo aki mungu anisametu lakini i itabidi tu ni mefanya yes you even know it's wrong before doing it wadi unanza ku repent kama alafu unafanya and then you say oh mungu nisame iye ili kula mwisho sita rudia tena sita rudia tena then immediately you go back who has repented there's a person who feels bad, they don't pray, and then they stop doing what they are doing. Mm -hmm. That is wrong. Mm -hmm. Who has repented? I think the one who's completely stopped. Yes. Without even the praying. Yes. Ah, okay. Prayer is communication with God. Mm -hmm. Now, what are you communicating to God? A lie. It is it a rudia? Then you mm. repeat, you are lying. And you're lying to God, not, not even a fellow you. Kwanza umeongeza makosa. Unadanganya mungu. Mwenye ata ya mwenye. Akiangalia tu vya na juu ya na. Uya na nipanga. Uya na ni. And it's God. It's God. And you know. Yes. Something has. Something has just. A thought has just sprouted. When I saying. Sometimes we have normalized. Yes. You know. Sometimes I wonder. Where has the fear of God in in the current generation gone to? We have normalized everything abnormal. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. we don't fear it. Mm. Well, so how many times you pretend they or walk into a fancy hotel? Yes. How many times do you walk to um to a girl as small as I am mm -hmm. with a seventy year old man? A lot, a lot. And it it's been normalized. I discuss your king yako hotel. I come to na wangalia. Wait, I I talk to you. I Eh, mami, unataka nini? Yes. What would you want? Mm. And they they give out the menu. You order what you want. Mm. Nobody bothers. And what is wrong with our generation? Why is it that we have normalized everything that is something that is very abnormal? Mm. Something that it ata iko inafanyika, you know? Yes. Kuzaa mababu zetu, it mm. was unheard of. Yeah. Excuse, it's been normalized. We go to our our um our sexuality industry. Mm. Everything, anything, and everything is happening there. People are waking up. Mtu anamua. Eh, kwanza leo mi I feel I was not supposed to be. I'm today. I wake up and say, "Mi mi na nilifa kwa taitas." I'm just trapped into this body that have some little things that makes me a woman, but I'm not supposed to be a woman. Mm. And tomorrow I wake up, go yeah. to the hospital, cut off my breast, do what is supposed to be done, yes. and I start looking like taitas. Mm. And today we. Like, and you know, we keep on saying, oh, everybody has a right. We have feelings. We yes. have the Everybody has a right to their feelings. And I'm like, where are we going wrong? Mm. Where did the rain start beating the us? Why, the mi when we miss the word of God, uh -huh. then we miss everything. We miss his alignment. We miss his will. We mm -hmm. miss everything that he'd like us to do. Mm -hmm. Now, you see a person who does not have, have a word from God, mm -hmm. then most probably they will just do their will. They will just do what they think. They will just do what makes them feel good. Mm -hmm. And if, in case you didn't see this, there are people in uh, California yes. who identify as dogs. Oh, I, I did see one Chinese man. Yes. I did see one Chinese man mm. who went ahead. I can perform a very, you know, very expensive surgery. It's almost, was it two or yes. three million? Uh -huh. Was it two or three million people? Two or three million Kenyan shillings. Yes. To be a dog. Mm. And I'm like, hey. 
to be a dog and uh, they are now it's a whole community in the in i think it's in us or uh, uk mm -hmm. that um, a whole community was protesting they want to identify as dog and it has to be put in the law just the, uh, like they put the lgbtq <coughs> Now they want to identify as dogs. Sorry. And of all animals, thank you. Yes. Of all animals, they choose a dog. Yes. You know the way in the Bible, the dog is the most disgusting animal. Yeah. It, the dog is portrayed as um, the uncleanliness. Most, hey, it's portrayed as uncleanliness. Mm. Of all animals, you decide to identify as, as a, a dog. dog. Does that speak anything in the in, you know, in the Christian realm, in the spiritual world? Is it is it speaking anything? Uh, he says, um, "Evil shall." persist mm -hmm. in the end times that ju that should just communicate to you mm -hmm. that uh, christ is about to take the church christ is about to take the church yes i think to now people are discovering instead of discovering a uh, new technology mm -hmm. people are discovering that they can be dogs too mm. yeah. they can be as as an as an unclean as a dog yes <laughs> yeah. so people are not afraid anymore mm -hmm. yeah so that is the issue that is going to affect that should tell everybody mm -hmm. that Christ is about to come is about the second coming is nearer than we think it is. Hey, have you ever shaka chini uka imagine? Yes. This about the second coming of the Lord. Yes. <laughs> Does it scare because it scares me because I'm I'm imagining smoje ni amke where I say <laughs> there's there's like a small baby who's around two years old. Yeah. And there's another also another child around four years old. Mm. So I'm imagining smoje ni amke. This mm. two year old is not there. Yes. Since you kupiga simu haya ni pigi mami tu me amka leo baby let me protect her name mm. baby X is not there. Pia my dad ni yuma ni sume ata ukum toto fulani ya mepotea. Mm. Smell. Yeah. As the Kenyans say, come smell, come nuka. <laughs> and the tribulation time is not something something appeasing to wait for. Yes. So Leo Tunakafungia Hapo, as the the evangelist has said, mm. the coming of God is near. Mm -hmm. Tunakafungia Hapo. And when he comes, how will he find you? Will he find you blabbering about his people that he has blessed? Mm -hmm. Will he find you throwing words ab uh, about his anointed people? Yeah. Or will he find you concentrating on his on your own personal relationship with God? Wambia ya as we closing. Uh, even when Christ comes, mm -hmm. I'd like to tell everybody this. Mm -hmm. He shall judge for what he gave. Mm -hmm. If he gave you a talent, mm -hmm. he's going to require a report from that. Mm -hmm. If he gave you one, he requires two. If he gave you two, he requires four. If he gave you five, he requires ten. Now, if you did not, if you are not putting your talent into work, the work, the blessing of God, the gift that you got from Him, mm -hmm. that is what you're going to be judged with. He said, there are many who will say in that day, in that final day, that I prophesied in your name, I did miracles in your name, I cast out demons in your name, but He shall say. I do not know you. I never knew you. Mm -hmm. Imagine you did miracles in his name. You did a lot in his name. You sang in his name. Then he says, I never knew you. So wh whom is he going to be knowing? So the judgment is going to be as tough as you never thought of because he's, be he's going to check for fruit. Mm -hmm. He's going to check for fruit. And it, it also continues even right now. Jesus is checking for fruit in your life. Mm -hmm. Now, you just have to be a person who obeys the word and does. Mm -hmm. He says, there is a man who obeys and does. That one, he finds a good place in God's heart. Oh. The Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Shalom. 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 Tumekafunga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, yeah. Mbuka, when he comes back, anakupata aje. Mm.